So uh, it's about accessories today, isn't it, Dave? How long yes. have you had your bike now? Uh, five weeks? Five, six weeks, five yeah. Weeks. yeah. I've it's had mine, not, what, not long. Three, four weeks. Yeah. So I did a little list, and I've just done a list of what I've accessorised on my bike. Plus yeah. the ones I know about on yours, which is going to be yeah. nowhere near what actually it all is. Like, I've already got a list of 35 different ways <laughs> to customise your GS adventure. Yeah. I think we spent we've spent uh, the short time we've had the bikes. I think we've spent more time. Farkling the is the yeah. phrase, isn't it? Yeah. Farkling. Than driving so, it. So it's... I'm going to have a quick run through them. So okay. I've Because I've got a list here. I'm very organised. See, this is yes, why I do the tour good. planning. Both we've both put the twin USB socket on the front, and we're from yes. Nippy Normans. Yes. It's a good little accessory that one. Yeah, and uh, obviously with that, the you can move the original connection then to the rear of the bike. Yeah. Have you done that? Yes. Because, yeah, done I have that. as well. You buy the kit, don't you? Buy the brackets. Uh, yeah. and, uh, so there is a difference between our bikes on that one, isn't there? Because mine came with a USB socket on the front yes. and yours came with an auxiliary socket on the front, didn't it? The DIN socket. Uh, yes, it so did. So you've yes. moved your DIN socket to the back. Yeah. So what I've done, I've moved my USB socket to yes. where the, the new GS, the 2021 GS, yes. um, you can see where the extra 500 quid came from. Yes. You know, why it's so much yeah. more expensive and better. <laughs> yes. Because I yeah. had I already had an yes. auxiliary socket on the yeah. back. So yeah. I've swapped the auxiliary socket for the USB socket yes. down here. Yes. And I've put the DIN socket the other side. Oh, right. Okay. So That's I've also funny. got twin USB yeah. into that one as well. Yeah. So ridiculously, oh, I've now got four USB yeah. sockets on the bike. Yeah. Well, I picked the adapter <laughs> up to go to the USB. So I haven't left it connected. I've just put it under my back seat ready for when yeah. I need it. So that could be handy. I do I do genuinely need those USB connections because yeah. I, do, I do all the filming, don't yeah. I? So I'm yeah. charging yeah. my action yeah. camera, the 360 yeah. camera, yeah. the battery backpack, the, the microphones, yeah. all the rest of yeah. it. Headlight protector. So we've done this different ways, haven't we? So yes. I've put a wrap on mine, yeah. which is like eight yeah. quid off eBay. Yeah. Um, just cut the template yeah. out myself. I have, I confess, yeah. ordered the full-on headlight protector. It's just uh, not yeah. arrived yet. No. Very similar to your Lone Rider one, yes. which is a yes. nice piece of kit. And you've got a choice of coloured um, front on that, haven't you? Yes. You can go yeah, yellow the, or amber. The sort of U orange shape on the front of that, you can take that off, put clear yeah. on. Yeah. And obviously it does drop down. You can pull it off the grommets. Uh, it's quite tight. You pull yeah. it off and then you can clean the glass uh, when you've got all the bugs on. Yeah, so my headlight design is different to yours because I've got the X on my headlight. So I've had to yeah. go to a... I mean, I know Lone Rider do one with the yes, X on it. Yes, they do for the new... It was about 150 20, quid. Yeah, yeah. And I'm afraid I, I went I went abroad yeah, and uh, yeah. I've, I've gone for a £37 one, which looks almost identical. Yeah. Uh, you get a choice of sort of five different colours. I think I've gone for yellow. I can't remember. I Probably think we'll a, have to come back to, to that point in, in the future because it's looking so far 100% that you've had stuff from abroad and it has been excellent quality. It's been, I can't yeah. fault it. I mean, there's some stuff I've ordered which didn't fit, but I've given yeah. that to you, which didn't fit yeah. yours either. We'll come on to the GoPro mount in a minute, yeah, sure. that's one of them. Ram mounts, I mean, we both had loads of ram mounts already, yeah. didn't we? So it's just yeah. a case of sticking yeah. all those on the bike. Yeah. I find them dead useful for filming because I've got about four different ram mount points on I my I think anybody bike. looking for a good solid mount for phones, cameras, the RAM yeah. mount is a good standard. Uh, we're exactly. using the quad lock at the moment for the phones. Um, we yeah, find them a little bit finicky, but they are very popular and it, they do hold the phone and of course you do get a case to they put do. your phone I mean, in If you're going to well. put the quad lock on the bike, you have to put the vibration mount on as well, don't I you? I think so, yes. Um, a lot of people have said the camera... Especially if you've um, got an optically optical image stabilisation on yeah, your yeah, phone, because otherwise yeah. it'll shake the phone camera to pieces. Um, so I'm using the RAM mount at the moment to hold yeah. the phone down there just to yes. um, give us a second view. Yes. So we've both got exhaust flap protectors. Have you got a protector on your little exhaust... Um, uh, no, I haven't got that yet. Oh, you haven't? Uh, no. Uh, so that was another seven pound purchase from China for me. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's just a lump of metal. It's, you know, anything significant yes. hit that, it's still yes. going to break it. Yeah. It's more aesthetic, I think. Side stand enlargers, we've both got that. You've still yeah. got your original camel toe, haven't you? Yeah, I've had that Might for about 10 or 12 years. I did have to cut it uh, a little bit to get it to fit because when you flicked it up, it hit uh, the. Um, this footrest. is the joys of you being an engineer. You can just, oh, I don't quite fit. I'll just trim that, I'll fit it, yeah. I'll thin it. Oh. Well, I've got a bit of a workshop with some yeah. bits and pieces in there. So, so I, again, I bought one from China, which no, is quite that's stylish, nice. actually. That's, that's a really nice uh, job, isn't yeah. it? I've put wheel decals on mine just because it was a super cheap purchase. Yes. It was about £4 yeah. from yes. eBay, I think, and I've just stuck them on. 
just to, just to do it really. I was yes. bored one afternoon. Yeah. Uh, so the rear under rack bag, I mean, you've got the Wunderlich one, the original, haven't you? Yes, yeah, so yeah. I've had that on two or three bikes and yeah. I just saved it and fitted it on. I don't know how much that costs and I have to look it up. I used to have the same thing and I yeah. sold it when I sold the GS. It's only a thin bag. It yeah. goes in there and, yeah. and clips to your, your rack, underneath your rack. And it, it, you know, it's sort of things, you can put some things in there that you can just lose. I've got all sorts in there. I've, yeah. got, I've got my Ivy's vest in there and a yeah, few likewise. other bits and pieces. You know, yeah. you can put a lock in I've there. I've got my like, luggage straps in there and my yeah. Ivy's and the yeah. stuff you can pull out because it's always on the bike. So it's pretty useful. I mean, yeah. I... Um, I paid eight pound for mine. Yeah. Again from China. Yeah. It's just a copy, but it actually has I got. I can't remember how much the. It's got GS cost. Adventure cost, nicely written yeah. across the back. Ah, the pannier box. So effectively, we've both got the same pannier box. Haven't yeah, we? This is ironic, isn't it? I think you it sent is. for yours. Mine's got. Mine's yours the same Touratech, box, but it? it's got the sticker on for Touratech or something, and uh, but it's exactly the same box. This is yeah. This is where I get a bit yeah. irked with some of the European pricing yeah, yeah. because yours was about uh, and, and uh, I fell in the same trap when yes. I bought it yeah. yours was what 130 140 oh, yes. pounds easy yeah mine was 37 pound delivered and it yeah. got here in about seven days and it is exactly the same same it's, fitting it's the same box mounting everything it, it is the same box isn't yeah it? it's just so it's, it's quite frustrating um, it is very useful anybody who's looking to carry a little bit of a, a few basic tools I yeah. think in this day and age you've got a a, a top end bike uh, you've got most of the time you've got all the assistance from BMW and it's it's only if you want a pair of pliers and a, a bit of tape or yeah. something like that an emergency well, that's, that's what I've got in there I've got stuff in yeah. there like my um, the tire pump Infl yeah. a little inflatable tire pump yeah. I've got a little puncture repair kit in there yeah. I've got yeah. zip ties in yeah. there that's right. Um, I actually don't carry a toolkit in there because I carry, always carry my toolkit separately. And the thing is, it's tucked away behind your normal panniers. doesn't interfere with anything. So it's, yeah. I think it, it's it's a worse having. Yeah, and item. it locks. It locks, so it just sits there all the time, yeah. doesn't it? And just, yeah. you don't have to worry about it. TFT guard. So your, yours is different to mine, isn't it? Because mine was just a cheapy one, which is actually a, another Perspex screen across the top of yeah. it as well. Yeah. But yours is designed to stop it being stolen, isn't it? Yeah, as well. there's, um, there's two in the range. There's one, if, say, uh, I think anybody who hasn't got the sat nav above it, you can have a peak on it, uh, which is done very nice, and it fits on, and there's two sort of uh, brackets on it that go into this bolt into the screws underneath so your yeah. screen stops your screen screen being snatched and it, well, it makes it more difficult well. doesn't it they've got to undo a couple of bolts to pinch yes it. yeah i went slightly different route because I, I went just for a one that looks nice well uh, the it, thing is that they'll look at that and think oh it's attached anyway yeah maybe, so maybe unless they've watched the yeah. video and they know yeah. it isn't <laughs> <laughs> yes that's right <laughs> so, yeah, yeah I, I think the price is going because mine was 19 pound delivered uh, and that yours is about 40 quid or so isn't it for yours yeah <laughs> and it's, i'm not i'm not comparing prices because no, they do different no, things no. but ah mudsling oh well this is another now this is another bone of contention so, really I yeah think. so forgetting the fact that you yeah. actually sold your mudsling oh, on your yeah, old bike well, and never took it right. off that was a double whammy for me really it was yeah my last bike i traded in i did forget to take the mudsling and the front the front uh, fender extender mud yeah. guard extender off and that like 180 pound yeah for the two yeah and so i bought exactly the same thing from china for 37 quid mm. uh, and that's to me that's criminal the difference yeah. is there's yeah. a lot of money being yeah. made along the chain yes. there somewhere yeah. isn't there? okay so spotlight guards so i ordered so this is where the trouble with ordering from china comes in yeah. i ordered spotlight guards from yeah. china yeah. arrived didn't fit yeah. So, because they're for the wrong bike, they're for the older model yes. GSs. Yeah, we just, uh, so, you, so you do sometimes take a bit of a risk. I mean, yeah. fortunately, it was only a seven pound purchase, and I, yeah. so I gave them to you. They don't fit yours either, do they? No, I think so. I'd have to do some serious modifications yeah. to them yeah. to get them to fit. So, someone out there is going to get a, a cheap pair of spotlight guards off eBay in, yeah. sometime <laughs> in the near future. Oh, the Cardan crash slider. You got one on yours, haven't you? It, it, what's so, that the the bung so, that goes uh, yeah, in? Yeah, the, the the bit the bung. Yeah, the bung that goes in down the bottom. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping it in I don't speed. need that. Yeah. I forget what my mine was, but it's it's years old. It's something like and an lost, RNG or something like that. I lost it? the yeah. the little motif off it, and I made that out of the bit that you pull out. <laughs> oh, clever! <laughs> yeah, clever. I'm just gonna, chop the plug I'll Make sure off I get a little shot of that. <laughs> nice one. I just again, mine was just a um, fairly generic, cheap yeah. one, but it's uh, yeah. I mean, it costs about five quid. Frame caps. Have you got frame caps in yours? Uh, I've got one or two. I haven't got all of them. Yeah, I've got so, some missing. So I bought yeah. an, again, bought a nice cheap set of. Um, yeah frame caps and 10 quid for the whole set yeah around, all around the bike uh, i kind of like them don't like them i like them because yeah. it, it makes me feel like the water's staying out of yeah all those so i know what you mean nuts. yeah 
Um, yeah, just... you f- I always feel when I get me uh, AFC 50 ads, I always feel like I need to spray in them holes. Oh, like, the ACF you know, stuff, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm hoping I'll give it give it yeah. a spot of the ACF, and then bung shut, the frame caps shut it in. in. Hopefully yes, that's, that's right. good for the life of the bike yeah. then. Yeah. If they start to pull the engine out of the frame, then I'll, I'll obviously have to spend 10 quid on a new yes, set of frame protectors. Right. Ah, pannier tops. We haven't brought our panniers with us, but I'll get a shot for the video. Yes. So we've both yeah. put the... Um, the fabric on, well, it's not fabric, is it? It's like a rubberized material on top of the panniers. Yes, that's right. Um, well, we've got two ways as well. You sent for yours and I sent for mine. Um, and Yeah, my mine was nine quid, mine were. So I did I, have to trim them slightly because they weren't perfect. I think mine was perfect. about 30 to 40 pound for the three pieces to go on the top box and yeah, the two side panniers. Yeah, mine was nine quid for the, the They are sets. nice, nice textured, thick. They stick on well and, I, and they serve a purpose, I think, especially yeah. when you're out camping. Um, you know, because you can put things on them. They do protect the top. And yeah. I, I, I had them this time because we've gone for black panniers and I feel that we could scratch them, you know, and once you put a, <laughs> a silver scratch yeah. on there, you know. So, so I've, I, I've bought crash bar protectors, which is there's some sort of an irony here because <laughs> I've bought a protector for my protector. Yeah. But yeah. these were literally yeah. a fiver. And yes. for the sake of a fiver. You can then and, throw and they them away well. and just buy some new ones, that's yeah. right. And they're branded. So, you know, I, I probably wouldn't even buy some new ones. I'd just leave them on there until yeah. I sold the bike. Yeah. And then I'd just take them off and hopefully yeah. have a nice pristine engine protector. <laughs> they're never, not going to do anything in a high speed crash, but if you just drop it on the drive, yeah. it just stops yeah. that scratching up. Yeah. Toolbox in a bag. I bought, a, I bought, again, off the super cheap site abroad. Uh, yeah. I bought the bag to go in the inside bag. It's a right. perfectly good bag. Yes. I got it, it looks to it. I yeah. thought, that's brilliant. I'm not going to use that. Because oh. the trouble is, it sucks a load of space out of the bag. Yes. You, you fill that bag up, and then you're losing yeah. half the space in the panel. Well, what I've done in there, I've got an inner tool bag, and it's a, a Krieger. The only problem is, if, well, I slipped up because I packed it, and I thought, oh, great, that is. I'll put all my sockets in me. Yeah, and don't tell me. You didn't went to put it, it in, and it wouldn't fit. And it, it, Cause it's it too just expanded. fitted in, but obviously going along, they all went down to the bottom, and then this thing bulged out to the same diameter, and I couldn't get it through the door because the door's narrower. Oh, it's easy. Just turn the bike upside down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so you've got to be careful with that. But Oh, the pannier inner lid bags. I showed you those earlier, didn't yeah. I? Um, really nicely, and I've not seen these anywhere else, yeah. so I think these are genuine yeah. Chinese yeah. design. Yeah. Really clever how they've adapted... Um, the, the slight edge with inside yes, the pannier and you yes, can just push the, yes. this document holder inside. Yeah. £27 for the pair. That's good. Um, fully delivered yeah. and they got here in about 10 days from China. Yeah. Really, really nice uh, piece of kit. You just I shove looked, all your documents in I've there. I've seen them t- this morning and I thought, what a fantastic idea. There's some really good things that come out. Yeah, the design's not quite perfect. Um, I went a different the, way. I made some uh, uh, hooks to go inside uh, the lid. Oh, you did? You and epoxied made, them on, didn't you? And then yeah. I, made, I pinched a a net bag off you and then tied my nets up and I can yeah. and it gives you a little bit more space in the top lid I can put like my woolly hat in there you know yeah. and things like and yeah. a pair of gloves uh, tucked in so that's but you what for your, for but all your winter riding you, yeah that's right for the winter <laughs> you, but of course I think it's a good idea use the lid and it, you know most of the time when you shut it you you tend to keep your stuff down in in the pannier and you forget the room in your lid so it, it is worth using that yeah oh the gopro mount so that didn't fit my bike so i gave it to you yeah and it didn't fit your bike no so you've engineered it and modified it to make it fit your bike it's a really nice looking uh, mount well mount. obviously with the the indicators people might know that once you've undone the bolt the bolt you have to turn it and it's on a bayonet and yeah. you turn it 90 degrees, 45 degrees, and then you, you can pull it out. Uh, but the only thing is the bracket was, the metal part was quite thick, and yeah. you couldn't put the indicator back no. in and turn it. And so I so just... So that's quite cool, because now it will fit my bike, so I can <laughs> so have it back. you can't have it back now, it's fitting. <laughs> well, nice I, I, fitting. I like the fact it just fits on there nice and discreetly, yeah. whereas if you look at how I've got mine mounted on mine, it's this, like, bulky camera yeah. at the side. I have a Touratec tail pack. Uh, I had to buy that, that was an essential. Whiskey, the whiskey yeah. shot, I need somewhere to put the whiskey. Yeah. Uh, and also, I'm not actually a fan of top boxes, I don't think they look very nice. So yeah. it's just a style yeah. thing, I prefer a, a, a tail pack and uh, just leave that, it on the bike. That all is the time. particularly a nice one from Touratech, I must admit. And I think yeah. this is worth noting that, you, yes, save money on certain things, but when you see something like that, yeah. it's worth, you've got your extra money. Well, in fairness put. to Touratech, that was only £117, pounds, yeah. I say only, but a top box is yeah. the best part of four, five hundred yeah. oh, pounds. definitely. And it's waterproof, yeah. and it can just sit there and it expands. Yeah. Okay, we've both got different tank bags. You've still got your original GS tank bag from about 10 years ago, haven't you? Yes. The, still fits. Uh, it's a little bit tatty now, but... Oh, I suppose served, you're going to have to change served, that then. Yeah, it served me well, really. It, it expands as well. See, I'm not a fan of the big bulky tank yeah. bags in yeah. front of me, so yeah. I've just gone for a little SW yeah. Motec one. Yeah. But I love the way that just 
clicks off. That's uh, good because it's magnetic, yeah, mounts it's magnetic well. isn't it? And yeah. it makes it really oh, good to locate. Um, so easy to onto secure. The bayonet, it's, um, yeah. I feel that the bigger the bag, the more you feel, feel you've got to put in it, especially with me. You know, you can load it up <laughs> yeah. with everything in the kitchen sink in it. No, um, not, no not with your minimalist travelling. <laughs> yeah, no chance. So, so the other one, um, oh, we've got to thank Chainspeed for these, haven't they? So Chainspeed sent us a couple of these traction yeah, um, grip yeah. pads for the bike. And you were your engineering expertise designed a template. So. Well, we, I cut a, a sort of, a, if you can call it that, a pleasing shape out, out of a Kellogg's box. Yeah, I'll, st I'll stick the, um, the template as a PDF yeah, in the and YouTube then, link. Um, where we've put them, the knee just sits there. And I, obviously without... Yeah. Outfits on this, there's abrasive stuff on here, and I think we're just worried that it might. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, it says they're traction pads, yeah. obviously, they're designed for sports yeah. bikes, and we're obviously not using it as a traction no, pad. No, well, I mean, I do, you know, when my yeah. knee is down, yeah, I do that's need to it, hang yeah, on. yeah, it's more to just stop the, but, the paintwork um, getting scratched up. But Tom at uh, Chain Speed ordered this for us, and um, he let us have them to try them out for him, you know, and yeah. that was good of him. There's some stuff you've got on your bike that I haven't got on mine, isn't there? <laughs> I don't even know where to I know start. We, I know we've so, sort of um, so Denali. reviewed them before, the Denali uh, setup, yeah. which I did keep from my uh, last bike and I think the bike before that, so I put them on my triple black. So you still haven't come clean on whether you've upgraded the CAN bus the, the, um, to, the, to the Gen 2 or not? I know, yeah. Well, mine's the original one. Oh, it is? Ah. It, mine's you the were a bit coy. Yeah, you, you, might, you thought I'd changed I, I thought you might have sneaked it and, you no, know, well, didn't want your wife knowing you spent uh, another £200. I think it's about £200 for the uh, the new one. It, and I think for anybody, obviously, going into it, obviously just buy the new one because you get uh, four high-powered um, outlets for it, which you can please yourself what you put on the Denali horn or the lights. I mean, we don't need to go into Denali in too much detail, do we? No, there's some really there's good videos out there. quite a lot of videos, much better than... Yeah. And they know a lot more than I do about it. But yeah. I did fit them myself this time with the help of... Um, Tom from Chain Speed. One thing I did fit recently is obviously connected to the canvas is the bark busters. Yeah. Um, the bark busters have got the lights fitted. Yeah, it's in. a nice looking kit as well. Um, the, I'm, I'm glad you're protected when we're going through all these woods yes, and um, you, you want you know, to brush things off. All, all these like trees that, yeah. are hitting you as you go through. Yeah. So I can understand There's why you two, fit them. Two lights. One's the um, running lights. Which yeah. is connected to the um, cam smart. Yeah, uh, that's the top ones, isn't it? Yes. And then and the then, bottom ones are And then the indicators, indicators they splice yeah. straight into the indicators and they flash accordingly. Yeah. It's more difficult and more expensive to put your own switch gear on and your accessories on than buying a cam smart for £200 and fitting yeah, one. Yeah, no, that's a good you point. You use all your original switches on your bike um, and keeps it all yeah. neat. I think if you're night riding, it's a no brainer. Yeah, um, yeah, and I think if you you want the style on the bike, yeah, yeah so it's a good I mean, way to do it. I mean, you can be accused of being a bit of a Christmas tree, and I think that that'd be I'll call, called a lot worse than that. <laughs> it's not fun riding in front of you sometimes when but you've got everything on. If people see me and they don't pull out, well, that's a bonus, you know, and I yeah, think I'll live yeah, with that, you know. It's a nice system. I do think BMW have made it slightly less important than it was now yeah. on your 21 bikes got the dynamic yeah. indicators yeah. and the well the that's, dynamic that is lighting. the point i was coming to i've got a tail light which is also a denali tail light which yeah. um flashes when you put your brakes on and yeah. your brake and everything so that's else. now built into the bmw yeah. as well so. and now you've got these lovely uh, indicators the rear hub you've got that rear hub filler haven't you i don't know what to call uh, yeah, that through the the all through the oh, i've had that for some time i know you have um, yeah so yeah and well, i've just refitted it yeah it's just a bit of a decorative yeah it's thing, nice really. it's nice though it looks pretty um, it's a bit you know make sure you know it's your bike in the car park <laughs> yeah. I can't show it here, but I've got, I bought the NOCO charger because I've got a lithium battery on this one. Yeah. So the Optimate charger wouldn't yeah. work. So I've yeah. had to go to a NOCO charger. And that, keep, yeah. and that does the same as the Optimate charger. Yeah, it does. It, yeah, but the Optimate uh, unfortunately wouldn't work with mine. But yeah, I actually so got more eBaying my Optimate when I paid for the new NOCO. Oh, that's so, good. So yeah. it just keeps your, your battery yeah. peaked up. Like, really. It does.